With the distraction of the babies gone, Rani and Zamir focus their attention on the temple. They stealthily lead the gang through an unguarded window. Being sneaky is one of the best ways to get ahead in macaque circles. It's a skill that serves the troop well right now. At the other end of the temple complex, the langurs tuck into lunch and don't see their old enemy slide inside. The macaques edge closer. Samir seizes his chance. Rani is delighted. At long last, someone stands up to the lanky squatters. The whole troop unite behind Zamir as he challenges the rival army. The Langur Alpha Male barks a belated warning to the rest of his troop. Now Zamir has the intruder's general in his sights. The long-legged overlord is twice Zamir's size, but the mighty macaque is on the mission of his life. Caught off guard, the Langur alpha male turns tail and flees for the forest. Zamir is hot on his heels, but the rest of the Langor troop are right behind him. The temple is suddenly empty of Langurs once more. But as Rani and her troop absorb the reality of their victory, the sounds from the forest suggest that Zamir has made the ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> 